much easier task for banks to issue a blanket ban on the industry than sort on a case-by-case -case basis. There is also the cost issue for banks. The law requires that banks be sure of the identity of those they give accounts to in some might field that it isn't worth the cost to set up compliance systems. Regardless, these practices do nothing for the growth of the industry and only serve to perpetuate the idea of the crypto industry being shady. Denying basic banking is madness, impedes sector growth and forces companies to get creative to solve the problem, said Ben Sibley, the head of brokerage at NKB Group. The banks are being overly prudent. Thanks for watching the OhioBitcoin.com Bitcoin News Channel today. We appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with us. Disclaimer, price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses or gains as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. Always remember that only those in possession of their own private keys are in control of their own money. If you enjoy this type of content please smash the like and subscribe buttons below it helps us to get more views. Thanks again. See you with more Bitcoin headline news and analysis soon. In the daily. Facebook security hole, Tron attracts snakes, the Satoshi symbol. In Monday's edition of the daily, we examine Facebook's latest security scare and what this means for cryptocurrency users. We also take a look at classic snake game Slither.io which is coming to the Tron blockchain and consider some potential design for Bitcoin's Satoshi symbol. Also read. Startup company sets up Bitcoin ATM in Botswana. Facebook's new feature gets the thumbs down. Facebook, which previously encouraged users to link their cell phone to their account for authentication purposes, has quietly made those numbers publicly searchable. As a result, every one of your Facebook friends, and potentially every single person on Facebook, depending on your security settings, can look up your number. For cryptocurrency users, accustomed to hearing cautionary tales of SIM swapping, this is particularly troubling. For years Facebook claimed the adding a phone number for 2FA was only for security. Now it can be searched, and there's no way to disable that. Pick.twitter.com slash spyhewardms dash Jeremy Budge percent at Jeremy Budge, March 1, 2019. Thanks to Facebook's new feature, an attacker can obtain a target cell phone number with comparative ease and from there socially engineer their way into taking controlling of it. Using security to further weaken privacy is a lousy move, especially since phone numbers can be hijacked to weaken security, tweeted one security expert. In related news, The Guardian is reporting on how Facebook has targeted politicians around the world, promising investments and incentives, while seeking to pressure them into lobbying on Facebook's behalf against data privacy legislation. Hypersnake slides its way onto the Tron network. Tron Arcade and Mix Marvel have teamed up to bring the classic game Slither.io to the blockchain. Hypersnakes, the blockchain iteration of Slither.io, allows players to compete and earn TRX without a wallet, making it easier for gamers to acquire cryptocurrency. The classic game comes with added battle royale gamma play, airdrop treasure chests and other features designed to incentivize adoption and real competition. Hypersnakes launched in beta on March 1, with the full release scheduled for mid-March. Tron Arcade, with $100 million of backing, is dedicated to funding and publishing high-quality games in the blockchain space. To date, gaming and gambling have proved two of the most popular use cases for the Tron network. Slither.io Bitcoiners propose Satoshi symbol. The Satoshi or Sat is the smallest unit of Bitcoin, 100 million of which make up a whole Bitcoin. While Bitcoin has had an unofficial logo for years, no one seems to have bothered drafting one for the humble Sat. As focus has returned to microtransactions in recent months, however, coupled with the stacking SAS movement, saving small amounts of Bitcoin in the assumption they'll one day be worth a lot, there has been renewed interest in the simple SAT. A number of user-generated designs have been shared on r slash Bitcoin this week, with the most popular, with 1,400 upvotes, comprising the S and at sign symbols fused together to create SAT. The proposed Satoshi symbol. 
What are your thoughts on the stories in today's news roundup? Let us know in the comment section below. Need to calculate your Bitcoin holdings? Check our tools section. Kai Sedgwick. Kai's been playing with words for a living since 2009, and bought his first Bitcoin at $19. It's long gone. He's previously written white papers for blockchain startups, and is especially interested in P2P exchanges and DNMs. Thanks for watching the OhioBitcoin.com Bitcoin News Channel today. We appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with us. Disclaimer. Price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only, and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses or gains, as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. Always remember that only those in possession of their own private keys are in control of their own money. If you enjoy this type of content please smash the like and subscribe buttons below it helps us to get more views. Thanks again. See you with more Bitcoin headline news and analysis soon.
This is why the Bitcoin Lightning Network capacity now exceeds $4.2 million, promising to be electrifying and cover for the rapidly expanding Bitcoin. Lightning Network is the nearest alternative for scaling the underlying. At the time of press and perhaps triggered by expanding Bitcoin prices, an increasing number of BTC accepting merchants, the LN network capacity is up 54% processing a massive $4,259,141.07, or roughly 1057 BTCs. As the capacity grows, the number of channels follow suit and are up 18% to 7,381. But why is Lightning Network gaining so much traction roughly a year after launch, Segwit laid the foundation. For once, we must understand that Bitcoin as a network is limited by block size. Back in Q3 and Q4 2017, several solutions were proposed and in a bid to deal with a bloated network community agreed to soft fork the network through a user-activated upgrade in segregated witness, SegWit. It was SegWit that laid the foundation for LN as it ran a code separating transaction signature from data thereby freeing up space allowing for more transactions to fit in a block. Supporters estimated that SegWit would quadruple the nominal capacity of the network. Apart from implementing this space-freeing code, SegWit also dealt with the malleability bug that would have directly impeded the activation and launching of LN, a Layer 2 and controversial Layer 2 solution that would increase the network's throughput. Since the business community disagreed to activate and double block size to 2 MB contrary to New York and Hong Kong agreements, the only solution that would scale the network was Lightning Network. Here's why Lightning Network is popular. Lightning Network introduces a smart contract that runs on top of the Bitcoin network allowing IOUs. Through this code, a peer can only one payment channel and connect with other peers he or she transacts with. Similarly, each peer will have one connection to the underlying blockchain network. Connected peers can transact as they want, execute private payments, but once the channel is closed or funds in this LN supporting wallet are exhausted, everything is settled on the Bitcoin blockchain. Because of this arrangement, payments are processed faster, costs reduced and the throughput increased by several factors. In fact, according to the official Lightning Network description, the creation of private channels scales the underlying by millions to billions of transactions per second meaning it can outperform traditional financial intermediaries like Visa, which can process 2,000 transactions per second, and other centralized network by several magnitudes. Add this to the efficiency and lack of intermediation costs that parties paid, the network becomes this audit-free, secure and cheap payment processing juggernaut. Supporters there are weaknesses associated with the LN, but the promise of making small transactions in a scalable manner is what is enticing. Already, Jack Dorsey is a supporter, and through tippin.me, users can tip users posting quality content or breaking news in Twitter. That's not all. According to Mainit Lightning Network stores, more merchants are embracing the future. Through Lightning Pizza, you can order pizza from Domino's and pay with Bitcoin via the LN. Twitch silently removes Bitcoin support for channel subscriptions. Ensuring the mass adoption of Bitcoin and altcoins becomes a reality is an ongoing struggle. While some effort has been undertaken to make something positive happen, a lot of companies have dropped cryptocurrency support as well over the past few years. The latest company to do so is Twitch, by the look of things. Their BitPay payment option has been removed in the past few days without any prior warning. Twitch boots Bitcoin and altcoin support. A lot of people were initially pleased to see popular streaming platform Twitch integrate cryptocurrency payments. By allowing users to send Tips through Bitcoin and altcoins, an important step toward mass adoption was taken. This sentiment was later reinforced when users could actively pay for Twitch channel subscriptions in Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. That functionality is made possible through BitPay, the world's leading major cryptocurrency payment processor.
as is always the case, when a company integrates support for Bitcoin and altcoins, there is some concern over the popularity of this option. As has been seen across other industries, once the initial hype calms down, Bitcoin and altcoins are used far less frequently. This is one of the main reasons why multiple companies removed Bitcoin payment support in recent years. It now appears Twitch has done the same, without letting their users and customers know this change was coming. When anyone tries to subscribe to a Twitch streamer, they can choose from many different payment options. The BitPay option has been removed from this list, although no one can pinpoint when this happened exactly. It seems this is not a region-based change either, as Twitch users from different continents have confirmed this payment option is no longer available. A very unfortunate turn of events, especially during these bearish times for all cryptocurrencies. One possible reason why the BitPay option was removed is due to a lack of overall interest. Although there will always be a core audience which relies on this payment method, cryptocurrencies aren't necessarily suited for subscription-based services. More specifically, Bitcoin and other currencies do not offer native recurring payment support, which is rather annoying when dealing with subscription-based services. This may be one of the reasons why the BitPay integration did not work out for Twitch in the end. As is to be expected when such a change is introduced without warning users in advance, the community feedback is not too positive by any means. A lot of Reddit users are cancelling all Twitch subscriptions or are simply shutting down their own streams because of this unwelcome change. This is a rather normal reaction, although it remains to be seen if this will impact Twitch's profitability in any significant way. It seems unlikely this will make much of a difference when looking at the bigger picture. This is another sign of why cryptocurrencies are not ready for mainstream use by any means. Even though Twitch saw merit in experimenting with this new form of money, the collaboration didn't last all that long. Although streamers can still accept Bitcoin through Coinbase, if they set up and link their personal account manually it seems unlikely Bitcoin and altcoins will make much of an impact on Twitch in the foreseeable future. A very unfortunate development for this fledgling industry, but it was somewhat to be expected. Disclaimer, price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses or gains, as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. This is not trading or investment advice. This presentation is for entertainment and education purposes only. Please do your own research before purchasing or investing into any cryptocurrency. Always remember that only those in possession of their own private keys are in control of their own Bitcoin. If you enjoy this type of content, please smash the like and subscribe buttons below it helps us to get more views and continues to spread the word about Bitcoin BTC. Thanks again. See you with more Bitcoin headline news and analysis soon. Breaking crypto news. Up to list crypto.com chain token CRO testnet date set. Crypto.com to open source the chain testnet v0.1 on Wednesday, March the 20th. Dash Crypto.com, the pioneering payments and cryptocurrency platform, announced that its Crypto.com chain token, CRO, will be listed today on Upbit, a leading global digital asset exchange based in South Korea. Upbit announcement, in Korean. The Crypto.com chain is a high-performing public blockchain powering Crypto.com Pay, which allows customers to pay for goods and services with cryptocurrency, while receiving generous cashback rewards. For merchants, Crypto.com Pay offers the option to get paid in any crypto without being exposed to its inherent volatility, and enjoy greatly reduced processing fees, and near-instant settlement. Chris Marsleck, co-founder and CEO of Crypto.com said, We're thankful to Upbit for their support of our project. Our chain team is on a tier recently, the Crypto.com Pay SDK shipped to merchant partners last week.
On top of opening of the pay platform to our 400,000 users this week, our team has scheduled to open source the first version of Chain Testnet on Wednesday, March 20 as a part of a broader dev update. This is another milestone achieved ahead of schedule communicated in the CRO white paper. CRO is now trading on Upbit. Learn more about the Crypto.com chain by visiting www.crypto.com slash chain number 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 about Upbit. Upbit is a top global exchange with world-class blockchain technology, regulatory expertise, and operational know-how supporting the trade of more than 150 crypto assets. Upbit provides financial institution grade of security and user-friendly service from years of experience operating stock trading systems, and is a partner of Betrex, the premier US-based exchange, about Crypto.com. Crypto.com was founded in 2016 to accelerate the world's transition to cryptocurrency. Key products include the Crypto.com wallet and car app, the best place to buy, sell, and pay with crypto, the MCO Visa card, a metal card with no annual fees, and the Crypto.com chain, which enables users to pay and be paid in any crypto, anywhere, for free. Crypto.com is headquartered in Hong Kong with a 120 plus strong team. For more information, please visit www.crypto.com. Hey, so everyone's been talking about Bitcoin, and we finally have to figure out the tax implications of this thing. Lisa Green Lewis, our CPA tax expert from TurboTax, here with us, thankfully, to talk about it. First of all, this currency is on fire. Yes, it People is. People are seriously making money, and no surprise that there's going to be an IRS grab for some of it, right? Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's fairly new to people, and it's really growing. But um, the IRS they regulated it in 2014, but a lot of people are not aware of that. No, because I think so many people didn't even think it existed in mm -hmm. 2014. Yes. So who knew the IRS was ahead of the curve here? Okay, so you think of it like a stock. Yes. Um, a, sh a share of stock, right? Yes. So the IRS um, they say you think of it as holding onto a capital asset, like like stock and then how it's used, how it's spent, um, that relates to how you're taxed or the person receiving it is taxed. So let's just say I buy and sell it, I trade it. I pay capital gains tax just like I would yes. or loss, just like, although we haven't, I don't think we're gonna see those for a while. Yeah. But <laughs> we gain right now. But. So you, you, and you report this, there's a line on the tax return for this or is it just like regular Schedule D? It's a Schedule D item. It's yes. regular Schedule D item. Okay, what if, I am paid in Bitcoin. Yeah, so if you're paid in Bitcoin, it depends on um, how, you're, how you're paid or what you're classified as. So there are actually some employers that are paying employees in Bitcoin. So you're, if you're an employee, it would be included in your gross income and so also on your W-2. And then on the employer side, they would have um, employment taxes as so, well. Social Security from Medicare, they would have to pay mm -hmm. that on the Bitcoin. Yes. And now, and then if, well, if you're self-employed and you're paid as a contractor with Bitcoin, then you know you would have self-employment taxes, and it would be on your 1099 missed. This is crazy. And then I guess if you, and then the other scenario I suppose is if you pay, you buy something with it, right? Yes. There's yes. tax there as well. Yes, and there are some people that are accepting Bitcoin as pay for products. So. You would see, um, you would have to pay taxes like on a gain, like offset what you're getting, right? With what you're, how you paying, how with you're what paying. paying. Yes, it's just, it sounds like ridiculously complicated, but I guess in theory it's not. It's obvious. You owe tax pretty much at the end yes. of the day on yes. the difference, you have right? To pay taxes. All right, so keep your receipts and uh, and good luck trading that stuff. Lisa, thank you. Thank you. Bitcoin tra transactions about to hit all-time high. The number of transactions per block for Bitcoin has reportedly exceeded levels set during January last year and cuff for hitting an all-time high. 
Unfortunately, Bitcoin isn't on track for reaching its all-time high in terms of price, but the transaction volume has gone up by around 34% since the start of this year. In fact, there has been an average of more than 350,000 that have been processed each day this year. More than 234,000 Bitcoin transactions were recorded on 1st January, and this number seems to have been on the rise over the past two months. In December 2017, the Bitcoin network experienced more than 490,000 daily transactions which were notably at the time of the historic crypto market bull run, when the price of Bitcoin made tremendous gains to its all-time high of $20,000. Even though the number of Bitcoin transactions has surged, the price of the leading cryptocurrency hasn't been able to recover to its larger prices. Adoption rate. There are many experts that have argued that there isn't a meaningful correlation between the daily Bitcoin transactions the cryptocurrency's price. There are several factors that this could be down to such as crypto traders being able to easily short Bitcoin and having access to crypto derivatives like Bitcoin futures. In addition to this, the volume of Bitcoin transactions has increased due to the increasing popularity of the Lightning Network. For those that are unaware, the LN is a two-layer crypto payment solution that allows digital asset transfers to be processed in a quicker and more cost-effective fashion. Furthermore, the adoption rate for Bitcoin has seen a very significant increase of 700% over the last six years. Crypto Payments The crypto security company based in Moscow, Kaspersky Labs recently shared the results of one of its surveys which revealed that more than 10% of global shoppers had used Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency to pay for goods and services bought online. Even though cryptocurrency was still the least popular option for online payments, the business lead at the Russian firm said, despite a fall in cryptocurrency prices, there is still a strong desire for digital transactions amongst consumers. Our consumer research has found a significant number of consumers are using cryptos for payment, which was surprising to see. Thanks for watching the OhioBitcoin.com Bitcoin News Channel today. We appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with us. Disclaimer, price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses or gains as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. Always remember that only those in possession of their own private keys are in control of their own money. If you enjoy this type of content please smash the like and subscribe buttons below it helps us to get more views. Thanks again. See you with more Bitcoin headline news and analysis soon.
Bitcoin BTC finally ready for a rally past $4,000 as bulls step up. Bitcoin BTC bulls have finally stepped up to give the market direction. Until recently, both the bulls and bears were confused as to who is really in control. The bears expect the price to come down, but they expect the rally past $4,000 first. As for the bulls, the majority is confident that BTC United States dollar has already bottomed and the price is only going to rise from current levels. The daily chart for Bcuz shirts shows that the number of margin shorts has once again declined to a critical support. If this support is broken, it is likely that the next support will be broken as well, and Bcuz shirts will decline all the way towards its support at 8,777. This fall in the number of shorts will be quick, and so will be the corresponding rally in BTC United States dollar. The bulls have been too afraid to step up as we have seen the past few weeks. When BTC United States dollar experienced a flash crash last week that scared the majority of Bitcoin BTC bulls which is why the price has been trading sideways for so long. A lot of Bitcoin BTC bulls believe the price has already bottomed, but yet they are not prepared to step in until they see a strong rally to the upside. We expect that the next rally past $4,000 will be the signal that the bulls need to get on board. The majority will take it as a signal of bullish reversal. And it would most likely be a fake out and will lead to major liquidations in the days ahead that will lead to another flash crash soon afterwards. The reason we believe BTC United States dollar will fall sharply after the quick rally past $4,000 is because the price is already trading under overbought conditions on the week time frame. The daily chart for BTC United States dollar shows that the price is currently resting atop the 61.8% Fib extension level and is prepared for a rally towards $4,200 which could extend towards $4,500. The dilemma that Bitcoin BTC traders face here is that the price is trading under oversold conditions on the daily time frame, but overbought on the weekly time frame. This means that the price will have to rally soon without any further delays. This is why we expect a strong rally in BTC United States dollar towards the end of the week. The daily trading volume is also in a steady decline which means any move to the upside or downside is going to be abrupt. When the volume is this low we can expect the price to trade sideways for a long time, but make quick sudden moves every now and then. This rally to the upside is going to be no different than the crash we saw last week. In other words those that think they can wait to catch it might find it difficult to do so. For the same reason, it would also not be reasonable to enter leveraged positions at this point. Thanks for watching the OhioBitcoin.com Bitcoin News Channel today. We appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with us. Disclaimer, price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses or gains as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. Always remember that only those in possession of their own private keys are in control of their own money. If you enjoy this type of content please smash the like and subscribe buttons below it helps us to get more views. Thanks again. See you with more Bitcoin headline news and analysis soon. Opinion editorial, with Bitcoin, anarchy is the point, not the problem. Last week, there was a panel at SXSW that was effectively a debate on the merits of permission blockchains versus permissionless systems like Bitcoin. I listened to the entire audio of the panel discussion after programming Bitcoin author Jimmy Song tweeted it out the other day, and I thought he did an awesome job of pointing out the key value proposition of Bitcoin and why it is not worth comparing to permission systems. What was the innovation with Bitcoin? As Song covered in his remarks during the panel, the key innovation with Bitcoin was the use of proof of work to enable anonymous actors to take care of the ordering of transactions in a digital financial system. While other digital cash systems were tried in the past, no one was able to come up with the perfect system that could solve issues related to centralization and civil attacks. With Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto hit the sweet spot. I recently wrote about this same topic in the context of alternative cryptocurrencies that really shouldn't be referred to as cryptocurrencies. Specifically, something like Ripple, XRP, is not comparable to Bitcoin because the system does not use anonymous validators. 
Song hit on the same point while providing his definition of centralized versus decentralized systems. Here's what I mean, it's centralized if there's a single point of failure, said Song. And I say that because that is exactly how governments control things. Bitcoin's resistance to censorship, shut down or regulation by governments, is its key innovation. This was nothing more than a cipherpink dream for decades, but Bitcoin turned it into a reality. Silk Road isn't the troubled past or Wild West. Silk Road is the point. Number Bitcoin. Kyle Torpy, at Kyla Torpy, October 7, 2014. IBM's Christopher Ferris, who took the side of permission blockchains in the debate, even asked Song if he was arguing for anarchy over a regulated financial system during the panel discussion. Yes. That's the whole point, I keep my own keys. I have my own Bitcoin. That means real self-sovereignty, said Song during one portion of the debate. That means real decentralization. I personally like self-sovereignty, and I like controlling my own keys, controlling my own money being my own bank, instead of somebody being able to say, that's not yours anymore, because we don't like you and we think you're a political enemy. It is the lack of centralization in Bitcoin that enables permissionless innovation on top of the base blockchain layer. Whether it's darknet markets allowing for censorship resistant e-commerce, a bra building a permissionless banking standard, crazy ideas like Bitcoin hive mind or simply enabling greater levels of financial privacy in a digital age, these sorts of applications are simply not possible with the traditional banking system, which includes the entire permission blockchain ecosystem. This solution is not perfect, but it's the best we've got. It should be noted that, as Ferris pointed out during the debate, there are still plenty of issues with Bitcoin from a usability perspective. Many people simply aren't comfortable with the risks associated with this new financial system. Issues like Bitcoin's price volatility, the responsibility of taking care of one's own private keys, the relatively higher costs that come with decentralization and the lack of user-friendly wallets are some of the problems that are still being worked on 10 years after the network was originally launched. However, it should be noted that these issues aren't as important to those who put self-sovereignty over everything else. This is what many Bitcoin skeptics do not seem to understand. There are plenty of people who are willing to take on the additional risks of using Bitcoin simply because they wish to be in full control of their own finances and also want to support the ability for anyone else in the world to gain this level of extreme financial freedom. New solutions to the various usability issues with Bitcoin are also coming online on a regular basis. Comparing Bitcoin to traditional banks or permission blockchains doesn't make any sense. Bitcoin is something completely different that was created for a specific purpose, financial self-sovereignty. This is a guest post by Kyle Torpy. Views expressed are his own and do not necessarily reflect those of OhioBitcoin.com, BTC Incorporated or Bitcoin Magazine. Thanks for watching the OhioBitcoin.com Bitcoin News Channel today. We appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with us. Disclaimer, price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither. OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses or gains as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. Always remember that only. Those in possession of their own private keys are in control of their own money. If you enjoy this type of content please smash the like and subscribe buttons. Below it helps us to get more views. Thanks again. See you with more Bitcoin headline news and analysis soon. Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak lost respect for Mark Zuckerberg, but not Bitcoin. Wozniak calls Bitcoin as something which has provided massive value creation. He admits holding a few Bitcoins for experimenting with new devices and applications. During his recent interview with Bloomberg on Wednesday, February 26, Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak openly praised Bitcoin. Although not a crypto investor himself, he said that Bitcoin provides massive value creation.
Steve Wozniak has been a long-time supporter and proponent of Bitcoin BTC. Last year in June 2018, Wozniak stated that he believes that Bitcoin will be the single native currency of the globe. During the recent interview, Bloomberg's Yosef Gamal Elton asked if he continues with his stand after we've seen massive value destruction in Bitcoin. Responding to this, Wozniak said, I'm not sure I can buy that we've seen massive value destruction. I think we've seen massive value creation. Psychology will often drive market. I never invested in Bitcoin as an investor. I only had Bitcoin to experiment with and find out how to buy and sell things around the world and find restaurants that accept Bitcoin. However, Wozniak admits holding a few Bitcoin for experimenting with new devices and applications. He also noted that once he had a lot of Bitcoins, which he sold during the 2017 bull run. He said, when it went up high, I didn't want to be one of those people obsessively watching the Bitcoin price, so I sold out. I don't know where it is now, but it's way over what I bought it at. Lost respect for Mark Zuckerberg, says Woz. Besides Bitcoin, Wozniak spoke on a range of issues like artificial intelligence and combating data breach issues. On the latter issue, Wozniak said that he lost respect for Facebook co-founder Mark Zuckerberg after last year's Cambridge Analytica scandal. The epic data breach had compromised data from millions of Facebook user accounts. Woz said, I lost a lot of respect for Mark Zuckerberg watching him speak and answer questions, and supposedly taking some steps that are nothing, not one nickel or one penny of Facebook's income I don't trust that. Just like Facebook, other popular social media platforms like Twitter are also facing similar data security challenges. But Woz goes to praise Twitter's Jack Dorsey for efforts to combat it. He says that I think Jack Dorsey is doing a lot more than Mark Zuckerberg to correct it. Besides this, Wozniak favored introducing a healthy regulation in the tech space. He said, Regulation is good. Regulation says companies will not do bad things, or governments will not do bad things. The United States is way behind Europe on recognizing these data privacy issues. Last year, Steve Wozniak joined a blockchain-powered venture capital fund called Equi Global as its co-founder. Equi Global is an Ethereum-based fund that is aimed at allowing investors to discover, examine and invest in a wide range of new business opportunities. The investments are to be made with a token called Equa Token. What is more, investors are also able to sell their Equa tokens on external crypto exchanges at any time they wish to do it. Published at Thu, 28 February 2019 10 11 and 7 seconds plus 0 0 0 0. Question. Why can't bitcoins be counterfeited? Bitcoin exists online, but it's not a computer file and cannot be copied. So, what is a bitcoin? Bitcoins exist only as values in a ledger, but this is no ordinary accounting ledger. Imagine a huge record book containing the value and entire history of everybody's bitcoins. Everyone using the bitcoin program all over the world has a copy of this ledger. In order to counterfeit bitcoins, for example to be able to spend five bitcoins when you only have one, you will need to modify the value of your Bitcoin on the global ledger that everyone has a copy of. The problem is, even if you are able to hack into a couple of computers to change the amount of Bitcoins you have, there will still be many thousands of computers out there with a copy of the truthful ledger showing that you only have one Bitcoin, not five. So in order to spend your Bitcoins, the majority of ledgers need to agree on their value. Since no one can hack so many computers all over the world at the same time, Bitcoin cannot be counterfeited, and your attempt to spin bitcoins you don't have would be blocked instantly.
John McAfee gives hard day for $1 million Bitcoin. U.S. presidential candidate and former ICO enthusiast John McAfee has declared a hard day for a Bitcoin price of $1 million. This followed a prediction of $1 million someday by Jesse Lund, vice president of blockchain and digital currencies at IBM. Two weeks next someday. Lund made his prediction in an interview when quizzed about his future outlook for Bitcoin, saying, I see Bitcoin at a million dollars someday. I have actually blogged about this a little bit. His prediction may however, partly be based on a preference for round numbers. He explained that he liked the figure because then a Satoshi will be equal to one US penny. He also noted that $20 trillion liquidity of the network this meant would massively change the global financial services landscape. But someday is just a little bit vague and difficult to get excited about, which is where Mr. McAfee steps in. Save the date. While applauding Lund's awakening to the fact that Bitcoin will be $1 million, McAfee wasn't content with someday. So he upped the ante and stated a hard date for the forecast of December 31, 2020. People are waking up to the fact that Bitcoin will be $1,000,000. But when? Someday. Maybe five years. Within a decade. I'm the only one giving you a hard date. December 31, 2020.https://t.co/rst3bcypfv will be 1 million someday, says Jesse Lund, VP of Blockchain at im.html. John McAfee, at Official McAfee, February 22, 2019. This updates and in effect doubles down on his previous bet, made in July 2017, that Bitcoin price 00 would move above $500,000 in three years. McAfee famously claimed that if he lost that bet he would eat his own penis on national television. When questioned in the Twitter comments, McAfee confirmed that this was the same bet and that I never lose a bet. Wild Wildlife Whatever one's opinion of McAfee, his life is nothing if not fascinating. Last year he declared his intention to run for the office of U.S. President with the Libertarian Party for the second time. Then earlier this year, he revealed that he is being pursued by the IRS for unspecified crimes and living in exile. Price prediction is a notoriously precarious occupation, and putting one's manhood on the line would be a step too far for almost anyone except McAfee. So, will we see him devouring his genitals on national television? I personally hope not, for many reasons, chief amongst them being personal financial gain. After all, the prospect of a $1 million dollar Bitcoin in less than two years is certainly something to get excited about. More so than a man chewing his own tackle, I'd wager. Do you think McAfee will be proven correct? Share your thoughts below. Casa branded case brings military tech to Bitcoin wallet protection. Bitcoin management startup Casa now offers a full suite of Cipherpink devices. Revealed exclusively to Coindesk, Casa just rolled out Faraday bag for hardware cryptocurrency wallets, protective cases made to block electronic signals often associated with remote wiping or alteration of the data stored on hardware devices. We didn't see anyone else providing a good enough case. So we went to the extreme and found a pro in the market and designed this together, Casa CEO Jeremy Welch told Coindesk via email. He added, we wanted something that would protect the device from a wide variety of potential risks, water, dust, etc., and also anything electronic wireless signal, GPS, Bluetooth, any kind of radio signal all the way up to, and including any potential imp electromagnetic pulse blasts. Welch says hundreds of platinum and diamond CASA members paying upwards of $1,800.
dollars a year have already received the cases as exclusive perks. Meanwhile, up to 1,000 light node buyers are eligible to get waterproof Faraday bags too if they claim the gold membership associated with each node. And at hardware wallets in addition to the Faraday bag. Apps, the above mentioned nodes and other services related to self custodied Bitcoin storage. The protective case, manufactured in partnership with bug blocking bag makers Silent Pocket, can fit up to two devices along with cords. Up until this point, most Faraday bag manufacturing has been for military and law enforcement clients. However, EDEC digital forensic software developer Matthew Huber, whose company sells up to 10,000 units a year to such clientele, told Coindesk he's seen a recent uptick in demand from privacy-conscious survivalists who want to shield their devices from geolocation tracking and hackers. Huber said the bags are the best defensive technology on the market with regards to dangerous power surges and explosions. Even so, he added there is still a great deal of research needed to better understand electronics in war zones. Some people are concerned about imps, he said, it would cause electromagnetic interference that could damage the product. The bag would help protect against that, although we don't have any guarantee. There's not really a whole lot of information about imps. As such, Casas Welch said his team of roughly 20 employees will continue researching and improving the tools they provide clients interested in self-sovereign Bitcoin management. Plus, Casa collaborates with several device manufacturers across its offerings, including hardware wallet makers Treaser and Ledger, to protect clients from supply chain attacks specific to any device. This is about a full experience, Welch said. We're looking to improve on that every year so that people will want to keep resubscribing and continue being a part of CASA. Speaking to CASA's broader mission, Welch said the startup wants to make key management and a note in every home accessible to all. He added, if we can achieve that, we can totally rebuild the internet. Thanks for watching the OhioBitcoin.com Bitcoin News Channel today. We appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with us. Disclaimer, price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither. OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses or gains as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. Always remember that only. Those in possession of their own private keys are in control of their own money. If you enjoy this type of content please smash the like and subscribe buttons. Below it helps us to get more views. Thanks again. See you with more Bitcoin headline news and analysis soon. NASDAQ technology to be deployed by Cause has scored a huge coup by partnering with NASDAQ to deploy their matching engine, clearing, and market surveillance technology, as announced on the NASDAQ website, March 13, 2019. Once they receive derivatives trading and clearing approval from the CTFC, they will be the only firm in the world to be involved in all levels of the crypto value system. Big news. Over the past few years, NASDAQ has openly shown its commitment to cryptocurrencies. In February 2019, they announced that they would be adding Bitcoin and Ethereum indices to their platform, and in December 2018, they made an investment in Erisks. Now, their technology will be put to use in helping cause a crypto trading firm. It was announced on March 13, 2019, that Cause, the creator of the world's first full stack cryptocurrency ecosystem, would be making use of Nasdaq's matching engine, clearing, and market surveillance technology via the Nasdaq financial framework platform. Technical partnership. According to the press release, because we'll be using the te technology in the first half of 2019, when they debut their cause spot cryptocurrency.
currency market. On top of this, they have made an application with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, to become a designated contract market at DCM and to establish a derivatives clearing organization, DCO. This is very significant as when derivatives trading and clearing begin, because will officially be the only firm in the world that offers services at all stages of the cryptocurrency value system. This will include crypto mining, spot trading, derivatives clearing, and trading and so on. The surveillance technology being offered by NASDAQ is a huge boost because it will ensure that the surveillance protocols in use properly fit the needs of the crypto market. On top of this, they will be able to detect manipulative activities, which will make trading more transparent and are for all involved. Fred Greed, the CEO of Cause, remarked in the press release that his company is honored to have access to this technology. He also pointed out that this will help attract different classes of investors, those that are already involved in the financial market and are familiar with NASDAQ operations, and those that would be interested in joining the crypto market. Paul McKeon, the SVP and head of marketplace operators and new markets, market technology at NASDAQ said, Cause has methodically built a unique ecosystem that gives investors, partners and market players a holistic experience in tapping the cryptocurrency market and value chain. He also added that the use of NASDAQ technology will help improve on their scalability and modular functionality which will help them meet the evolving needs of the digital asset economy. Thanks for watching the OhioBitcoin.com Bitcoin News Channel today. We appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with us. Disclaimer, price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither. OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses or gains, as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. Always remember that only those in possession of their own private keys are in control of their own money. If you enjoy this type of content please smash the like and subscribe buttons. Below it helps us to get more views. Thanks again. See you with more Bitcoin headline news and analysis soon. A social media giant and cryptocurrency, what you need to know about Facebook's entry into the cryptosphere. The rumor that Facebook is planning to enter crypto space is now an open secret. There are plenty of indications that now suggest the tech giant is ready to launch their coin in the near future. Notably, the company is rumored to be working with Telegram and Signal to start a digital currency for its WhatsApp service. Intentions unveiled. According to a December 2018 Bloomberg article, initial reports indicated that the social networking platform may want to focus on the Indian remittance market. India is reportedly the largest recipient of international remittances worldwide, and with Facebook hosting 300 million of its 2 billion users there, targeting the subcontinent's 200 million users makes a lot of sense business-wise. Even though Facebook has played its cards very close to the chest and information is still scanty, there are a few things we can now reveal about the mysterious cryptocurrency. Founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg made blockchain and cryptocurrency hints in a January 4, 2018, Facebook.
post when addressing the issue of users abusing Facebook, where he suggested that encryption and cryptocurrency could offer a remedy. He stated, I'm interested in going deeper and studying the positive and negative aspects of these technologies and how to best use them in our services. Best laid plans. According to two respected publishing houses, Bloomberg and the New York Times, Facebook is likely to spur a revolution and an earthquake in tandem world of cryptocurrencies later this year. Plans for the much-awaited Facebook cryptocurrency are slowly coming into focus and the crypto world's axis is tilting in the direction. The California-based social networking titan declared in May 2018 that it was creating a team within its ranks to explore the technology behind Bitcoin to see if and how it would be incorporated into its products. A horde of media leaks in the recent past is helping to shape up a picture of exactly what Facebook is up to. The team of more than 50, led by the former Facebook's head of Messenger David Marcus and former head of Instagram engineering James Everingham, are working on a digital payments platform for WhatsApp, Facebook's end-to-end -end encrypted messaging app. Is it a cryptocurrency or a stable coin? There has been a lot of debate on whether Facebook is taking the route of creating a pure cryptocurrency. The information available shows that the tech giant wants to build a coin that will bypass the effects of price volatility. According to the New York Times report, the Facebook blockchain team is working on a stable coin, a type of crypto that has its value pegged to that of a real-world asset such as oil or fiat currency reserves. This means that, unlike the ordinary cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin that fluctuate and make or break fortunes instantly, users will not have to worry about the coin's value. Insider reports show that Facebook plans to peg the value of its coin to several select foreign currencies as opposed to just the US dollar. The proposition by Facebook is therefore not likely to attract speculators or investors who would have been enticed by a cryptocurrency with a potentially lucrative and wild value fluctuation. The end product will potentially be of great interest to consumers who would want to make purchases or remittances without getting worried about erratic price changes. Dot will it be a decentralized crypto? Rumors about Facebook's dalliance with blockchain technology have been making the news for a while now, but questions remain as to whether the upcoming coin would run on a decentralized network. The answer to this question will depend on whether Facebook would or could control the currency. If the social networking giant will want to approve every transaction on the network, then a centralized system like PayPal would serve them better than a decentralized blockchain. Insider reports seem to point to speculation that Facebook, Signal, and Telegram are all working in the direction of a digital coin running on a decentralized network. This would mean that the crypto created would to some extent run independently of the company that created it. There's a rumor that Facebook has been talking to cryptocurrency exchanges to have them sell it coin. If that turns out to be true, FB will have potentially eased itself of the burden associated with regulation. If cryptocurrency exchanges hold the currency, they become responsible for the process of screening of potential customers and remove the cumbersome know your customer, kick, methods from Facebook's jurisdiction. When is it likely to launch? As per the New York Times report, the Stabla coin is likely to be launched during the first half of 2019 or thereabouts. Quoting unnamed inside sources, the publication says the company has already approached select cryptocurrency exchanges that could be roped in to support their upcoming product. A Facebook insider who refused to be named stated, like many other companies, Facebook is exploring ways to leverage the power of blockchain technology. This new small team is exploring many different applications. We don't have anything further to share. What's in it for the tech giant? Whether or not the social networking titan will make money from this venture is yet to be determined based on what type of crypto they set out to make. Conventional cryptocurrencies have been launched via initial coin offerings, ICOs, where investors buy into the project in anticipation of that the value of the coin will deliver, which value depended on the demand. By taking the direction of Establa coin, it may appear like the issue of demand will not play a significant role since the value is guaranteed from the beginning. Experts believe that as Facebook has decided to create a cryptocurrency for its own sake and then have people offer it to users in exchange for fiat currency, the company will make a killing especially during the preliminary stages. Let's sum it all up. The choice of the Indian subcontinent for a WhatsApp-based cryptocurrency is a perfect business idea as the payment structures there are not as developed as what you find in the countries like the US and the UK. 
while cash still plays a big role in the Indian economy, there is a slow but sure paradigm shift towards mobile technologies, with an estimated $400 billion, £290 billion, mobile wallet market via Payton. This, therefore, makes introducing a WhatsApp-based payment system a walk in the park. Facebook's choice of populous India comes on the heels of Google's launch of a mobile payment service Tez, now called Google Pay, in India in 2017 before it spread to the rest of the world. Current reports indicate that Google Pay serves at least 25 million users monthly in the country. The last word. That blockchain's electrifying technology has thrilled the entire world with its potential to solve hitherto tricky problems is a subject on everyone's lips. Facebook has decided to join in and use it to improve areas of trust and money transmission will help it get a grip on the money market besides solidifying their hold on entire populations. By entering the world of cryptocurrencies, the social networking giant is taking competition at the doorstep of mobile payment service providers in India and soon after that the rest of the world. Pundits believe the much-awaited launch is a trial ahead of a global launch, something which fits snugly with Facebook's aim to permeate all the aspects of our daily lives and remain gradually obligatory. Billionaire our investor Warren Buffett is doubling down on his Bitcoin criticism, calling it a delusion that attracts charlatans. Blockchain is important, but Bitcoin has no unique value at all, Buffett told CNBC's Becky Quick in a Squawk Box interview Monday. It is a delusion, basically. The Berkshire Hathaway CEO recently stated he's sympathetic to optimists who bought the world's largest cryper currency in the hopes that it would change their lives. It attracts charlatans, Buffett said. If you do something phony, by going out and selling yo-yos or something, there's no money in it, but when you get into Wall Street there's huge money. Bitcoin has lost more than 80% of its value since reaching a high near $20,000 at the end of 2017. The Kripa currency was trading near $3,781 on Monday, according to data from Coindesk and other trusted Bitcoin news networks. This price can also be viewed at OhioBitcoin.com along with further news and analysis on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies and tokens. Buffer It has been a long time I'm critic of cryptocurrency. He referred to Bitcoin recently as probably rat poison squared ahead of the 28th. Berkshire Hathaway and annual shareholder meeting. A mirage, not a currency, and tulips are among the descriptions Buffett has used for Bitcoin, according to CNBC's Warren Buffett archive. What do you think about Warren Buffett doubling down on his stance on Bitcoin? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching the OhioBitcoin.com Bitcoin News Channel. Today, we appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with us. Disclaimer. Price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither at OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for losses or gains, as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. Always remember that only those in possession of their own But keys are in control of their own money. If you enjoy this type of content please click the like and subscribe buttons below it helps us to get more views. Please smash that subscribe button. Thanks again. Stay tuned and we will see you in the next video with more Bitcoin headline news and analysis soon. TechCrunch founder, I've never been more bullish on crypto. On Thursday, Michael Arrington, the founder of TechCrunch and Arrington XRP Capital, has said that he has never been more bullish on crypto. I've never been more bullish about crypto than I am right now. Michael Arrington, at Arrington, March 28, 2019.
The statement of Arrington comes after major investment firms in the crypto market in the likes of Pantara Capital and Arrington XRP Capital secured rounds exceeding $100 million to invest in emerging companies in the crypto industry. Why bullish on crypto when Bitcoin price is stagnant? Despite the strong performance of alternative cryptocurrencies, the Bitcoin price has been unable to break out of the $4,000 region since December, briefly reaching $4,200 in some markets. Bitcoin price in the same tight range in the past three months, source, canmarketcap.com. The extended period of stability demonstrated by Bitcoin has worried technical analysts throughout March, considering that the Bitcoin price experienced a 50% plunge in price in November 2018 when it showed minimal price movement for a span of about three months. Once price breaks $4,200 it could move fast. Matter of watching levels, just like 3700 yesterday. The key for the short-term prosperity of the crypto market is for BTC to break out of major resistance levels with strength, economist Alex Kruger said in February. However, Bitcoin has struggled to test any key resistance levels above the $4,000 level. While the analysis of technical indicators of Bitcoin and the short-term projection of the dominant cryptocurrency vary, activities and developments in the crypto industry have shown that the interest in the asset class still remains relatively high following a 15-month bear market. Perhaps most importantly, in recent months, the crypto industry has seen major startups and leading companies mature amidst one of the worst corrections in the history of the cryptocurrency market. While developer activity has noticeably declined due to an overall drop in the inflow of capital into the cryptocurrency industry from retail investors, quality projects and companies have continued to demonstrate signs of growth and expansion. Developer activity and capital in the market may have dropped, but they have been allocated to projects and companies that build, execute, and grow, which ultimately may benefit the cryptocurrency industry in the long run. Valuation of the crypto market is still down by 82% since its all-time high, source, canmarketcap.com. The valuation of the crypto market has dropped by nearly 82% from $813 billion since January, and it has provided investors with viable opportunities to enter the market with reasonable valuations of projects. Investors, especially retail investors, that were affected by the market crash in January 2018, could take a long period of time to recover. But, investors who felt they have missed out the last bull market may feel compelled to enter, while the valuation of the cryptocurrency market is at its lowest point in recent years. In many areas including valuation, developer activity, activity, growth, and adoption, the crypto market has shown significant potential in a dark period wherein startups are struggling to obtain new capital to survive, which can be considered as a positive indicator of long-term growth. Fundamentals are important too. On Wednesday, Nicholas Carey, the co-founder of Blockchain, the most widely utilized cryptocurrency wallet in the global market, said that the number of transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain achieved a 12-month high. Yesterday, the number Bitcoin blockchain had the highest number of confirmed transactions of the past 12 months. Do you think the number crypto enter is thawing? https colon slash slash t.co slash w r f n e d h z c 5 p Nicholas Carey, at Nickery, March 28, 2019. The hash rate of the Bitcoin network has also increased steadily in the past 12 months despite the abrupt dip in hash rate in late 2018 as a result of the Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV hash power war. The prices of cryptocurrencies do not accurately depict the level of development and activity that is seen in the crypto market, and for that reason, industry executives have expressed confidence in that the market has established its bottom and could be on its way up. Thanks for watching the OhioBitcoin.com Bitcoin News Channel today. We sincerely appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with us. Disclaimer, price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither. OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses or gains, as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. This is not trading or investment advice. This presentation is for entertainment and education purposes only. Please do your own research before purchasing or investing into any cryptocurrency. Always remember that only those in possession of their own private keys are in control of their own Bitcoin. If you enjoy this type of content, 
Please smash the like and subscribe buttons below it helps us to get more views and continues to spread the word about Bitcoin BTC. Thanks again. See you with more. Bitcoin headline news and analysis soon. So just, to throw, just throw a wrench in that. Please. The authority can take out Bitcoin anytime it wants. Um, I don't a think fraction, so, but okay. A good fraction of the miners are in China. In fact, a 51% attack from China is easily available. And to think that the Chinese Bitcoin miners would not, you know, with a gun to their head, would not do a 51% attack is unrational. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. And there's nothing in Bitcoin that guarantees you won't have a 51% attack if a nation state dictates it. Right. I disagree. Uh, I actually think that the even though a lot of the mining is in China, it's not as concentrated as you think. Some of the pools are, but the mining farms themselves are distributed, some of them in some very remote rural areas. And in those remote rural areas, those farms represent a significant percentage of the local economy. So before you get that hired gun to walk up and tell them to shut down the mine, you've got to first pay them their salary. Right? And in that case, the Chinese government is the minority bidder for that salary. <laughs> because the mining farm operator is paying them much more lavishly. In fact, they already own every layer of government in that province. Uh, I would guess that's how government works. Yeah, well, um, I think also you underestimate how much resistance you're going to see in places where this is having a very significant uh, impact on incomes in rural areas that have excess capacity and electricity that they can't use any other way. And that's generating millions of dollars. Also, that creates motivation. You know, the biggest threat for the Chinese government isn't Bitcoin, it isn't America. It's a billion peasants with pitchforks who have decided they've had enough. And they've been trying to forestall that from happening for 25 years. And growth, economic growth in rural areas, that's the goose that lays golden eggs for them too. I think you overestimate how easy it would be to do that, and also how effective a 51% attack would be, or how long it could be sustained, and what kind of countermeasures we could put in place. This is a system that will evolve. It won't sit still and just take the blows. So, um, you may be right. Seven years in, it's not because they're not trying. It's not because they don't want it to stop. Thank you.
is Tahir Hussain and guess where we are standing? We are standing at one of the mines of Lifestyle Galaxy and I'm outside right now. It's a cloudy weather. Thank God it's uh, not uh, raining. And what you're seeing outside right now is these huge exhausts and their job is to let the air come in. So, so our, our, our GPUs inside, which you're going to see in a few seconds, stay warm uh, and, and uh, they don't heat up. So let's take you inside and, and show this amazing facility that we have over here with Lifestyle Galaxy and uh, with all coins that we are mining. And keep in mind, this is just one, one of our facilities. And as you can see, there are all these hardwares lying over here. So I, ha I have to be careful when I'm walking because you'll see why. Okay, so now what you're going to see here is our GPUs. Now, if you understand the power of these GPUs that each one of these hardwares belongs to someone in our mining community, each one of these, and we're stacks after stacks, racks after racks of these GPUs. And let me show you the size of this mine alone. So, so come with me and then just look at this. It's absolutely amazing. I'm just in our first row. Machines after machines, GPUs after GPUs, showing you the power of what the cryptocurrency world, showing you the power of how we, we could mine with Lifestyle Galaxy. Unbelievable, isn't it? And as you come into the main alley right over here, just imagine hundreds and thousands of these machines lined up, stacked up. And their job is to do what? Make you all the coins necessary. Guys, this is the community that we are building with Lifestyle Galaxy. This is completely priceless. The amount of energy and effort that went into putting all this together. And look over there. What do we have? We have these amazing exhaust. Their job is to allow the air to come in. And if it gets too hot, these fans suck the air right outside so our operational costs are kept low so you get to put more coins in your pockets as you mine with lifestyle galaxy so this facility alone is worth a couple of million dollars guys and this is just one of our facilities and just look how much this company has done for you for us so if someone ever tells you the lifestyle galaxy isn't real if someone ever tells you that these guys don't actually mind just show them this i mean come on what more could you ask for this is absolutely phenomenal and we're just getting started it's not even two years since we started so what does the future hold for you in a company in a world where bitcoin alone is over 100 billion dollars as i'm doing this video probably when you're watching this video it's already hit a trillion dollars who knows and be a part of this world be a part of lifestyle galaxy see you with us bye tom lee of fun street bitcoin bulls to return in 2019 Tom Lee of Fundstrat Global Advisors has once again given cryptocurrency market predictions. The long-term Bitcoin bull stated earlier that sentiment will once again turn positive during 2019. Lee draws on technical, macro, and fundamental indicators to make these conclusions. However, we all know that he has been wrong on more than one occasion when it comes to Bitcoin price. Tom Lee, Bitcoin Cash Fork Wars Terrible for Investor Confidence. Tom Lee, the co-founder of Fundstrat Global Advisors appeared earlier today on a CNBC segment titled, Futures Now. There, he was asked about his outlook for the Bitcoin, BTC, and general cryptocurrency markets. Lee opined that 2019 was a year of repair for BTC. He stated that the Bitcoin Cash hard and the subsequent fork wars as he refers to threats made by Craig S. Wright to 51% attack the Bitcoin ABC side of the split out of existence had been massively detrimental for investor confidence. During the so-called fork wars, the price of Bitcoin dropped steeply from the low $6,000 range it had held for many weeks down to just above $3,000. Lee therefore expects this range to serve as massive resistance on the way back up. However, the BTC optimist did highlight multiple positive factors that he believes will allow the market to soar when sentiment does finally improve.
These included previous macro headwinds, the fact that the dollar performed so well in 2018, for example, infrastructure improvements, the launch of Fidelity's custody solution in the backed platform, and finally, technical indicators, Bitcoin price is now comfortably bouncing along the 200-day moving average. The upcoming launch of various crypto products from multi-trillion dollar Fidelity has many excited. The conversation then turned briefly to Venezuela. Lee pointed out that people there were starting to use cryptocurrency thanks to the hyperinflated Bolivar turmoil is causing adoption to grow. Lee, JPM coin is no competition for Bitcoin. When going through the various positive factors that would boost the Bitcoin price when sentiment finally improved, Lee mentioned the launch of digital currencies by some of the planet's largest financial institutions and companies. This prompted a question about whether such centralized digital assets posed a threat to Bitcoin's value proposition. The research analyst replied that he did not think that it represented competition and that Bitcoin would remain at the center of the digital currency universe. It's not a threat to Bitcoin because it doesn't offer upside, but it probably makes other stablecoin projects less useful. Bitcoin is essentially starting to look like a reserve currency for digital currencies in general. Finally, Lee was pushed for a timeline for market sentiment to improve. The Fundstrat co-founder stated that he felt it needed perhaps five or six months more to recover from the plunge into the $3,000-$4,000 range, which he attributes to the Bitcoin cash fork last year. It is worth remembering that Tom Lee has been spectacularly wrong about BTC price predictions in the past. He spent most of 2018 calling for BTC to exceed its previous all-time high set at the end of 2017. This, of course, never happened. His new outlook appears more measured by contrast, and the analyst has been aloof from giving precise figures this time round too. Thanks for watching the OhioBitcoin.com Bitcoin News Channel today. We appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with us. Disclaimer, price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses or gains as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. Always remember that only those in possession of their own private keys are in control of their own money. If you enjoy this type of content please smash the like and subscribe buttons. Below it helps us to get more views. Thanks again. See you with more Bitcoin headline news and analysis soon. Here's a quick video about a guy installing a Bitcoin wallet. He also buys Bitcoin at the end, but that takes about 20 seconds of this two-minute video. Purchasing cryptocurrency at a Bitcoin ATM is quick, easy, private, and secure. You are viewing the hardest part right now. So the customer has begun a transaction, then suddenly realizes he requires a wallet. Digital wallets enable you to access your Bitcoin on the Bitcoin network. In your phone, they store an address and a very complex password called a private key. Using this address and key, you can access your funds using any Bitcoin-compatible software. The wallet's account number is usually represented by a QR code. Identical in core function, wallets merely serve to securely store your unique Bitcoin address and key. Install and get acquainted with your wallet before actually using the ATM. Notice this guy will spend two-thirds of the video just installing a wallet on his phone. Don't be this guy. Install your wallet and walk up like a boss. If you don't know which wallet to install and can't figure it out, the ATM operator will provide some suggestions at the location. So, we're waiting on the wallet to install. And okay, we're finally ready to do this. Select Bitcoin. Read and agree to the terms and conditions. Select a dollar amount. Now you need to show that wallet's QR code. Hold your phone up to the window, centering the code for the scanner. The ATM scans your code. The bill acceptor lights up. Insert your paper money. Press submit after you've fed it enough. And you're done! Easy peasy.
Bitcoin is a digital asset and a payment system invented by Satoshi Nakamoto, who published the invention in 2008 and released it as open source software in 2009. The system is peer-to-peer. -peer. Users can transact directly without an intermediary. Four transactions are verified by network nodes and recorded in a public distributed ledger called the blockchain. The ledger uses Bitcoin as its unit of account.
The system works without a central repository or single administrator, which has led the U.S. Treasury to categorize Bitcoin as a decentralized virtual currency. Bitcoin is often called the first cryptocurrency, although prior systems existed. Bitcoin is more correctly described as the first decentralized digital currency. It is the largest of its kind in terms of total market value. Bitcoins are created as a reward for payment processing work in which users offer their computing power to verify and record payments into a public ledger. This activity is called mining and miners are rewarded with transaction fees and newly created bitcoins. Besides being obtained by mining, bitcoins can be exchanged for other currencies, products, and services. Users can send and receive bitcoins for an optional transaction fee. Bitcoin as a form of payment for products and services has grown, and merchants have an incentive to accept it because fees are lower than the 2-3% typically imposed by credit card processors. Unlike credit cards, any fees are paid by the purchaser, not the vendor. The European Banking Authority and other sources 11 have warned that Bitcoin users are not protected by refund rights or chargebacks. Despite a large increase in the number of merchants accepting Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency does not have much momentum in retail transactions. The use of Bitcoin by criminals attracted the attention of financial regulators, legislative bodies, law enforcement, and media. Criminal activities are primarily centered around black markets and theft. Though officials in countries such as the United States also recognize that Bitcoin can provide legitimate financial services. Bitcoin has drawn the support of a few politicians, notably U.S. Sen. Paul, who accepts donations in Bitcoin. The Bitcoin protocol specifies that the reward for adding a block will be halved every 210,000 blocks approximately every years. Eventually, the reward will decrease to zero and the limit of 21 million bitcoins will be reached 2140. The record keeping will then be rewarded by transaction fees solely. Fidelity's crypto custody service goes live for selected customers. Fidelity Digital Asset has launched cryptocurrency custody and trade execution services. Currently, it is available now only for selected customers, with the customer base expected to expand in the near future. Fidelity Digital Assets, a new company that offers enterprise quality custody and trade execution services for cryptocurrencies to institutional investors, has announced that its platform is live. Selected customers have got access cryptocurrency custody and trade execution operations, while others may have to wait until September. We are live with a select group of eligible clients and will continue rolling out slowly. Our solutions are focused on the needs of hedge funds, family offices, pensions, endowments, other institutional investors. More on our project, https colon slash slash t dot co slash e k j 2 p w j t 2 y numbered blockchain. Fidelity Digital Assets, at Digital Assets, March 7, 2019. Fidelity Digital Assets is a company established by Fidelity, a multinational financial services corporation based in Boston, Massachusetts, and the fourth largest asset manager with $2.4 trillion in assets under management, as of December 2017. The giant spends $2.5 billion per year on technologies like artificial intelligence and blockchain. Fidelity Digital Asset Services was set up in October last year with the aim to provide cryptocurrency storage and trading services to institutional and enterprise clients. The company targets institutional investors and works on cryptocurrency solutions for commercial space. In January, Abigail P. Johnson, chairman and CEO of Fidelity Investments, revealed the company's plans to launch Bitcoin custody service with Ethereum Next and said that the date of launch was set for March. The promise has turned out to be true, and the service is now live. However, not all customers are able to use it. According to Tom Jessup, Fidelity Digital Assets head, some customers were using the platform in January, when it was in the final testing stage, while for other customers, it was March. 
others may wait until September. Jessup explained, it really depends on the facts and circumstances of each client. It is notable that the service was developed when the crypto market had quite hard times. As Tom Jessup, the last year collapse did not have any impact on the launch. He said, if you started a crypto fund at the height of the market you're probably hurting right now. Moreover, Jessup believes that despite the bear market, interest in cryptocurrencies from institutional investors continues to grow as they are looking for long-term investments. But having a desire to add some form of cryptocurrency to their portfolios, they do not want to take risk connected with the volatility of cryptos, which, at the same time, provides trading opportunities. According to the research conducted by Fidelity, about 22% of institutions asked already own cryptocurrency and expect to double their crypto assets over five years. Jessup said, if anything, they are as encouraged now as they were when prices were higher. Fidelity Digital Assets will provide a perfect solution for institutional investors who wait and see when it comes to investing in cryptos. Earlier, Fidelity said, our conversations with a variety of institutions have served to underscore their clear need for a trusted platform provider in order to engage with digital assets in a meaningful way. We are committed to exceeding the requirements and standards of existing solutions with both our custody platform and trading venue, providing a combination of security and a central point of market access, disrupting the obfuscated nature of trading digital assets today. The new company will conduct trades on multiple exchanges for these investors, as well as handle custody and store digital assets. Fidelity Digital Assets is one of the first companies to provide similar services. The team behind the company is currently working on improving various parts of the platform and planning to expand its customer base in the near future. The New York Times is planning to again publish the New York Times, the second largest newspaper in the U.S. by circulation and a story institution in American journalism, is getting ready to experiment with blockchain technology for publishing. According to a new job posting, the media organization is looking for someone to help design a blockchain-based proof of concept for news publishers. To start the project, NET is looking for a forward-looking leader who would be working on the proof of concepts outline for 12 months within the company's research and development division. The new hire will codify the vision for the research project and share that vision with potential stakeholders at other media organizations and help brand and create a public identity and assets for the project. Another goal will be to form a pool of the project stakeholders and find advisors from news organizations, academia and social media companies. Skills set. The candidate should have previous experience innovating in media organizations and leading a combination of engineers, designers, journalists for more than eight years, according to the NIT job posting. Strong skills in communication, writing and presentation, partnerships, and collaborations are necessary. The new blockchain leader should also have an established track record in real-world application of new technologies and a mixed skill set with some experience in at least three of journalism, product, design, software development, hardware engineering, user research. No less important. The job requires a real passion for the New York Times mission. The NIT project wouldn't be the first blockchain media experiment. The most prominent of these is Civil, a token-driven startup backed by the Ethereum development studio Consensys. In its editorial operations, the New York Times has been covering the blockchain and cryptocurrency agenda for several years now, including the special project Demista blockchain last year. The newspapers led reporter in blockchain and crypto, Nathaniel Popper, is also the author of the bestseller Digital Gold, Bitcoin and the inside story of the misfits and millionaires trying to reinvent money. Thanks for watching this has been the Bitcoin Cryptocurrency Market Top 10 Report today sponsored by OhioBitcoin.com. 
We appreciate you spending a bit of your valuable time with us. We broadcast numerous times throughout the day so stay tuned. Disclaimer. Price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither. OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses or gains as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. Always remember that only those in possession of their own private keys are in control of their own money. If you enjoy this type of content please smash the like and subscribe buttons. Below it helps. Get more views. Thanks again. See you with the next up to the nanosecond edition of the Bitcoin Cryptocurrency Market Top 10 Crypto Report.
Max Kieser on Bitcoin cynic Warren Buffett, he's a complete failure. Appearing for an interview with Blockf, Max Kieser explained why he thinks Warren Buffett has been throwing shade at the crypto community. Kieser did not hold back, I think he feels insecure. Without the bailouts of 2008, without the access to free money from central banks, without stock buybacks that were up until recently illegal, Warren Buffett's performance would be close to zero. Warren Buffett has trashed Bitcoin in particular and the budding crypto economic sector in general, calling Bitcoin rat poison square just last year, CCN reported. Buffett, aiding and abetting crime, Kieser also suggested that Buffett's investments in Wells Fargo amounted to aiding and abetting an enterprise with a history marred with criminal misconduct. He's the largest investor in Wells Fargo. When they engage in serial criminality as they have been doing in the last few years, he says nothing. So he's aiding and abetting crime. He's a criminal. The guy is overrated, he's a complete failure. Since 2000, Wells Fargo has been forced to pay $14.7 billion in penalties for committing a host of violations. 2018, stock buybacks nearly double. Across the S&P 500, U.S. public companies spent a record-setting $938 billion on buybacks during 2018, according to the Wall Street Journal. In 2017, companies poured just $519 billion into buying back their own shares. Companies are buying up their own shares at a bristling pace source, markets watch Goldman Sachs. The surge came on the heels of the Republican tax cut bill, which is projected to launch the federal debt $1.9 trillion higher the next decade, thereby implying that taxpayers effectively fronted the cash for companies to repurchase their own stock. Buffett joins the buyback party. In November Berkshire Hathaway Incorporated repurchased $928 million worth of its shares. Analysts noted that the Oracle's move suggested there were very few opportunities for Buffett to deploy capital in productive ways.
Quoted by the Wall Street Journal, Chief Investment Officer at Wedgwood Partners Incorporated in St. Louis, said, What the buyback signal, in a very big way, is that Buffett's short list of putting prospective billions to work, either in private businesses or equities, outside of Apple, are nil. The $928 million buyback marked Berkshire's first major stock repurchase since 2012, when the firm scooped up about $1.3 billion worth of stock from Berkshire's shareholders. 2019, buyback spree part 2, stock buybacks are expected to remain a hot trend in the S&P 500 this year once again despite the 2018 binge. Companies are still sitting on vast sums of cash that are being held overseas, and now stocks are starting to look a bit cheaper, making repurchases all the more attractive for U.S. firms. In late January, Morgan strategist Dubravko Lakos Bujas predicted that companies in the S&P 500 would spend another $800 billion on stock buybacks in 2019. He wrote that these public U.S. firms still have about $1 trillion in cash stashed abroad. Thanks for watching the OhioBitcoin.com Bitcoin News Channel today. We appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with us. Disclaimer: Price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses or gains, as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. Always remember that only those in possession of their own private keys are in control of their own money. If you enjoy this type of content please smash the like and subscribe buttons below it helps us to get more views. Thanks again. See you with more Bitcoin headline news and analysis soon. In the daily, Colorado Digital Token Act, ID Funds Crypto Index, Fortress Blockchain. In this edition of the daily, we cover new legislation that could make Colorado more attractive to digital businesses and token issuers. The launch. a new cryptocurrency index fund and the latest miner to come to crypto winter. Also read, UK regulator, 3% of consumers surveyed have bought cryptocurrency. Colorado Digital Token Act. The governor of the U.S. state of Colorado has signed the Crypto-Friendly Digital Token Act into law. The act, which was, was introduced in January, is a major step toward creating a hospitable regulatory environment for the digital assets industry to establish itself in Colorado. This is because it and certain exemptions from states. Securities laws for cryptocurrencies, making businesses less hampered by antiquated rules. Explaining the rationale for the exemptions, the document notes that Colorado has become a hub for companies and entrepreneurs that seek to utilize Cryptoeconomic systems to power their business models. The costs and complexities of state securities registration can outweigh the benefits to Colorado businesses seeking to raise capital and create new platforms within the digital economy. This act will take effect following the expiration of the 90-day period after final adjournment of the Colorado General Assembly, the state's legislature, expected to occur on August 2, 2020. Nineteen. 
Exciting day for number blockchain technology. At Gavovco at Jared Bliss signed the number digital. Token Act today with key legislators, Attorney General at Quiaser, and number Colorado cabinet members Patty Sal. Are with Adora Colorado, at Betsy Markey with Edit, and at Teresa Surak of Edit Colorado. Pick.twitter.com airload B. Teresa Surak, at Teresa Surak, March 7, 2019. ID Funds Crypto Index. Investment management platform ID Funds has launched its own crypto index fund based on an index administered by. I am Index Solutions MVIS. The new new funding to give institutional investors diversified access to the crypto market through exposure to selected assets among the 30 most capital. Cryptocurrencies including BTC, FXRP, BH, and LTC. To be included, the index assets must be traded on Exchanges with proper liquidity and available for insured cold storage. Upping each asset at 15% on a quarterly basis is meant to keep the index suitably diversified. Fortress blockchain succumbs to crypto winter. Fortress Block. A Vancouver based company listed on the TSX Venture Exchange has exited the cryptocurrency mining business. The company announced it's deactivated all mining hardware located at its Grant County facility on March 5, 2019. Fortress's management has determined that the marginal profitability of cryptocurrency mining and the risk of further decline, along with increased regulatory costs and oversight, does not justify continued operations. Fortress still has had $10 million left under its control and plans to re-establish itself in yet to be determined business sector. Additionally, management is now looking for the most effective way to sell the mining equipment to recoup some of its investment and losses. It is anticipated that the company will soon change its name in order no longer be associated.